I'm Sarah Jordan. I am the organic vegetable production manager. Um, I've been here three years now. I started as an intern and then got hired in the garden and then became full-time a year and a half ago. We want the garden to add to the farm. We're not big enough to be shipping tons of stuff out. I think it more is that the garden kind of supports the community locally. It's the first year we have successfully done the tomatoes. Um, so now the key is finding out what to do with all the tomatoes that can kind of maintain their integrity and keep them good. Do you want me to tell you about the variety? Yeah. Okay, so this is a black cherry variety. This is probably our highest production plant right now. I'm getting maybe 10 pints or so three times a week from just this variety. So it's this pretty purplish red variety. Um, all of our seeds are obviously organic. Um, the black cherry is not specifically an heirloom variety, but all of the beef steak, the big slicers are heirloom varieties. So I have found that the heirlooms do better here. Um, on this side, we have a San Marzano, which is a paste tomato. So you can see uh, they're like oblong and they're a little bit lighter than your typical tomato. Um, and this variety is specifically for making sauces and stuff. So there's less seeds and that's also why it's lighter because when you cut it open, it's not like your typical juicy seedy tomato. So not really for fresh eating. There's lettuce in between our tomatoes. We're trying to companion plant down there. It's really tough to do lettuce here in the summer because it gets hot and bitter. So we're trying to keep it in the shade from the tomatoes as well as the stuff in the middle is also getting shade from the shade cloth. And then it's getting consistent water, which also helps when things are too hot. Is our corn and then we also companion planted beans with it. So we're doing drying beans. This variety right here is really popular in the South. It's the pink eye purple hull. And it is exactly what it sounds like. So it's got the, it looks like a black eyed pea except the hull when you harvest it is purple and has a pink eye on it. And then we've also got um, black eyed peas in here as well as lima beans. You can check and make sure your potatoes are growing. If you dig down, you can see, you can check and make sure they're growing. So we've got our potato growing there. But you never want it to be exposed to the sun too long. So that's just a some, if you were to harvest what people call new potatoes, that's these. So it means that you're harvesting them when the plant's flowering. Um, but we'll end up waiting. This is our triangle, our pollinator triangle. So if you stand this way, you can kind of see. It's like a little triangle off there. Um, so these... We got a wildflower blend that was a wildflower blend for the southeast. So we planted these guys here, which I love. So right now it's mostly cosmos. Um, and some bachelor button are coming, this cute little dude. Bachelor button. I don't know what everything is, but you'll see if you look at it long enough, there's tons of butterflies and bees and insects, which is great because that was their goal.